let's go, let's go. So after the months of teasing and making clues, Six Flags Fiesta Texas officially announced their brand new for 2024 attraction. And like always, it was not what anybody expected. So of course, in today's video, we're going to break down all the new announcements. And before we get into today's video, if you're new here, welcome to the channel for all those thrill seekers. On JB Thrills make all sorts of content related to theme parks and thrill rides. No matter where they're located or what type of attraction, if it's a thrill, it's covered on this channel. And for those Texas enthusiasts specifically, this is your source of news for all Texas theme parks. So if you're interested, be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to so know when new videos come out of my channel. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. So in these past two months, Jeffrey Sieber, the park president of Fiesta Texas, has left everyone guessing. And the predictions will range from literally a new giga coaster to a new area expansion. Finally today, the day of FT92 fan event, Fiesta Texas revealed their new attraction. And it's not what anybody expected. New this year, the Kidsopolis Kids Area is finally getting bigger. As the new Kids Area will be transformed into DC Universe. Connecting the DC Universe area nearby that contains Batman, Joker, Wonder Woman, and etc. Retheming lots of the old attractions and bringing some new ones. For example, Zoom Jets now becoming Green Lantern Emerald Flight, rethemes the hero Green Lantern. Streamliner Coaster now becoming Batgirl Coast Chase. Rambling Road is now the Penguin Gotham City Getaway. Up Up and Away is now Poison Ivy's Toxic Spin. And Skyscreamer is now Supergirl's Sky Flight. Overall, we kind of saw it coming. And as for the brand new attractions, we have three new flat rides also being located in DC Universe. We have Cyborg Cyber Revolution, a brand new Zemperla Nebulos, a new kids drop tower called Shazam, Tower of Eternity, that'll go up and down and give you some minor airtime. And truly a surprising addition I've never seen before, Metropolis Transit Authority, a brand new sightseeing train that'll go all around the new DC Universe, giving you an insane view of the park. Sure, this is no giga, but before you start complaining, you have to understand that Fiesta Texas is a theme park that's for all the ages. And what makes a theme park great is not some record-breaking coaster that everyone knows about. It's the entire experience. That means shows, attractions, events. It's not just roller coasters for thrill seekers. And the people that are disappointed about this experience need to realize the big picture. This is a really great kids area, and it's something Fiesta Texas has desperately needed. They have insane attractions for sure, but the kids barely have anything to do. And this will offer three new rides to do, as well as a theme experience. Not to mention, it ups the overall view of the park. This DC Universe is not just a regular slapstick re-theme. It's Jeffrey Sieber we're talking about. Sure, many people are annoyed with the DC Universe in Great America, as well as Discovery Kingdom, but the one in Fiesta Texas will be very different, as Jeffrey Sieber will strive to theme the area, and you know he'll do it. Just take a look at Kid Flash Cosmic Coaster, the newest edition, a normal family coaster, that really, they could just open it as it is. But in the FT92 fan event, Jeffrey Sieber revealed that there's more theming going into it, like a Kid Flash statue in the queue, a station that's highly creative and unique, when they really could just open a regular building. And it just goes to show that Jeffrey Sieber has immense care for Fiesta Texas, and this addition is highly needed. Not to mention, a lot of people forget that we just got Cliffhanger last year, and that was a major addition. Why would they add another one back to back, when there's other parks like my home park over Texas, or even St. Louis, that could get an actual big addition, and a park full of additions that are kind of mediocre, with the park not having a big addition in a while. So before you go hating on Jeffrey Sieber, just know the park needed this, and it's absolutely amazing. Now, do I agree that Jeffrey Sieber overhyped the whole thing? Yes, that I can get behind, and that's because Jeffrey Sieber posted over 50 teasers. And for something that's not a coaster, that is not needed at all. It could have been like 10 teasers or just one teaser video, but all of that guessing and clues just for it not to be a coaster, that can be a little bit frustrating. Anyways, taking a closer look at the brand new area, Cyborg Cyber Revolution will take the spot of the Pirate Kids Play Area which is honestly good, but also has its withdrawals. Having a kid's play area in a theme park means kids do not have to wait in line to do the attraction. And that's a big perk, especially in a park like Fiesta Texas that tends to get busy. With no play area, and hypothetically if all the kids' rides were full, kids would have nothing to do except wait in line. And it's not entirely beneficial. They could have a show for the kids that'll keep them engaged, but the stage is also being removed from Metropolis Transit Authority. So that's my one concern. But speaking of Metropolis Transit Authority, that is a genius addition. A mini transportation ride is really creative, and it will give some great views for not just the kids, but the adults as well. I do hope that these little trains are not too small, and they can actually fit full-size adults, but we'll just have to wait and see. But truthfully, other parks like Magic Mountain should definitely take some notes, since that park does not have any transportation at all. 
asks for the layout in the train. The station is in the kids' stage area, and will go back and around near where Batman the Ride is, and I think might even go over the train tracks, which is really cool. The ride duration is supposed to be said to be over 5 minutes, which isn't that long, but also pretty long. And again, we'll get some great views. For Shazam Tower of Eternity, I do have some mixed feelings for the attraction, since I would call it very similar to Buckaroos, but in a way it's not because it will be a little bit more intense, and honestly I rock with it because the kids do need more attractions. So overall, when this new DC Universe area is complete next year, it'll look amazing, and will up the quality of Fiesta Texas big time. As for the rest of DC Universe, we'll talk about that in a bit. But next, we need to talk about Wonder Woman, as the ride is getting lots of updates for 2024. And one major update that will get all the enthusiasts excited is the fact that it's getting brand new trains that will have more comfy comfort collars and will definitely give you more airtime and overall a smoother experience of Wonder Woman. The Buckaroos attraction in Kidsopolis is also getting switched over to Crack Axle Canyon and will be next to Yos Van Sam and Falkhorn Leghorn, majorly affecting the experience at Fiesta Texas. And for Fright Fest, you know how Jeffrey Seaver loves it. This year he's making it the biggest yet, with way more shows and events that will take place, and a rare event that will give you the chance to watch fireworks during a solar eclipse which is honestly amazing. This year also introduced a brand new haunted house, named Twisted, with a completely unique and original theme, taking the former spot of Carnival 3D. Not to mention this year, the complete boardwalk will have a brand new scare zone, which will be Carnival. Overall, you know Jeffrey Sieber loves haunted houses, and he's going to make it extra big this year. For Holiday in the Park, Fiesta Texas will introduce a brand new show called A Christmas Carol, which tells the story of, of course, The Christmas Carol, with Scrooge and the Three Ghosts, and it'll be located in Rockville High. And with that, that's everything new for 2024 at Fiesta Texas. To many, this is considered an underwhelming announcement, but I have to disagree. The kids area needed a refresh, and this DC Universe will be amazing. It'll literally be a whole new land that contains a new transportation attraction, a whole bunch of new flat rides, and all of it will be highly themed. From a Six Flags park, this is amazing, and I wish more parks can do this, which this could pave a way for more parks to invest in theming, because after all, that's where Six Flags started, and it slowly declined over time. But it looks like we're reverting to the old ways, which I'm happy about. But with these pros, there are a few cons, and I do have to mention it. The main thing I worry about is that with the new DC Universe, the Rockville area could be in trouble. After all, the DC Universe actually goes from the kids area all the way to Wonder Woman, when traditionally the Rockville area would start after the train tracks. And it was one of my favorite lands in the park, because it had great theming. But honestly, I do understand why they did what they did, since the Joker was nearby and so was Superman and Skyscreamer Kidsopolis would not have fit with Kid Flash next to it, and really anyone could have predicted it. But of course, Jeffrey Saber confused everybody. Either way, Fiesta Texas will have a great year next year. And one perk from this is that really it's filling up the entire park before another big addition comes in. And I'm betting it will be a big addition, possibly bigger than Cliffhanger, and maybe in 2025 or 2026. The park will thrive with lots more families coming in, and will make lots more money that will help fund the brand new addition that will come soon. So really this is not at all an underwhelming addition, and instead is what's needed for Fiesta Texas, and will make the park overall even better. In result, with the announcement finally out, what are your thoughts? Was there a kitty attraction they could have put instead? And could this be a great year for Fiesta Texas? Comment down below. Anyways, thank you for watching, this is JB Thrill signing out.